are talking about 2017's Out of the Shadows, also known as The Devil's Toy Box. And this is actually a sequel to the movie Seven Nights of Darkness and is once again directed by Alan Kellogg who also stars in this movie. And this somewhat retcons the end of Seven Nights of Darkness and um, it kind of follows uh, Alan Kellogg's character Carter who was the only survivor of the initial uh, kind of ghostly encounter. Now that's one of the retcons because originally we, it didn't look like he was got out alive but they've kind of changed that. Um, anyway now it basically it focuses on a new group of people who want to return to this kind of haunted house and want to bring Carter along with them uh, because they kind of want to try and connect with the spirits of uh, these kind of missing people, presumed dead, that were kind of the victims of the initial movie. And this includes the daughter of one of the kind of the missing uh, characters from the original movie. And it's they kind of want to be do like, like a TV sort of special. So this time they're kind of going in a little bit more kind of like forearmed in regards to, um, you know, taking a kind of, uh, a sort of demonologist kind of a church goer there a bit more in regards to kind of tech things like that and maybe expecting a little kind of a bit more paranormal stuff that's kind of going on uh so what will happen you'll have to watch the movie and find out so this is obviously a bit of a bigger budget than the original movie which was a very meager uh budget of around five thousand dollars according to imdb i don't know how much this one was but it looks like it uh, has a bit of a bigger budget to it and it's I would say more ambitious So what what can I say that works in this movie's favor? I actually didn't mind the retcon as much although there are some things that are kind of left Unanswered for example the producers of the kind of the original kind of show No, you know, we don't ever hear anything about them things like this But I did like the kind of the the concept of this one and one of the ideas I liked about this it felt like it had a little bit more plot, certainly than the kind of the the, the, kind of the first movie, because in this way um, we learn it's not just kind of ghosts. There maybe will be a kind of demonic presence there, but they also go armed with a potential uh, kind of way to trap the uh, these kind of demonic forces. The aforementioned Devil's Toy Box, uh, and and we have kind of things that go without spoiling anything. We have. Uh, situations that happen within the movie that are a little more, bit more plot driven than the kind of the first one so this is less of just kind of people running around a, a you know trapped in a kind of a haunted asylum we do get a little bit more kind of plot and I, and I don't want to go too much into the actual what happens because it's still somewhat kind of meager but nonetheless there is a little bit more to it than certainly the kind of the first movie and as I've mentioned, this movie feels like there's more budget involved here because we get a lot more overt things happening on screen. Uh, the first movie, we got a little bit of kind of CGI enhancements and jump scares and things like this. This one, there's a lot more of it and I would have to say it's kind of peppered throughout the movie. One of the critiques I would have with, you know, found footage movies in general is a lot of the time they just kind of say all of the kind of the... Uh, the effects driven stuff for the kind of the final 10 minutes of the movie whilst this one I would say it's fairly kind of evenly spread obviously it gets more intense as the film progresses but there is actually a reasonable amount going on kind of just throughout the film as well um, so that was that was kind of quite good and I also quite like the, the, the mix of people that we got in regards to uh, different types of people like i said we've got carter from the original movie we've got the kind of the daughter of kind of one of the uh, the uh, victims from the first movie we've got like a tv producer we've got the kind of the techies we've got the kind of like the um, the diva kind of style kind of uh, face of the show um we've got the, de the demonologist guy so it's a, a kind of a good mix of people within this kind of uh, uh group to kind of make it a, a kind of somewhat of a fun dynamic there is also less arguing in this movie. One of the critiques I had of the first film is it was seemed to be constantly people arguing. Now there is a little bit of that, I'm not going to lie, there is certain scenes where they do argue but it's not enough for me to kind of derail the plot. In actual fact there's certain scenes here I felt like we, we got more of a feeling of a team effort than the kind of the first one. Uh, so that was kind of quite good. And the movie I think is more ambitious than the first one uh, because it introduces kind of more themes it certainly has more overt kind of horror go kind of going on it's not a gory film but there's plenty of kind of jump scares and kind of scary imagery and stuff like that 
what doesn't work. Um, even though there's, there is that kind of uh, less arguing, there is still a reasonable amount in this movie, albeit obviously certainly not as much as the first one. A um, couple of things I would say though with this movie, I think some of the acting may be weaker. There's certain characters in this movie that really kind of stand out as being somewhat kind of weak in the, kind of the acting department. I won't say who necessarily, but there are, uh, it's a relatively large, probably a larger cast than the other one, but um, yeah, there are some kind of, uh, some weaker performances here, uh, to be honest. Although I will say Kellogg's performance I think is, is improved uh, from the kind of the first movie, but there are a couple, a, a couple of weak links uh, to be quite honest. The main issue I have with this movie for me is that I think it kind of derails somewhat in the kind of the third act. Now, as I've mentioned in the positives, the movie tried to have a little bit more kind of plot and I appreciated that and I was actually kind of quite invested in the kind of the first and the second act. I think actually the second act unusually is one of the stronger elements here because normally the, th the second act of films I think tends to be the one where it lags but here I actually felt like the plot gained momentum within the kind of the second act. It's only the third act where I feel it, I feel it just gets way too kind of convoluted and a little bit silly. It just goes a little bit kind of too far with the kind of the craziness. I think there was too many kind of ideas kind of trying to kind of like throw so much at the wall and see kind of what sticks to, uh, kind of attitudes to be honest with you. And there are some bits that I, I, I would feel are uh, just, just border on just being a little bit too kind of too silly. I do feel as well, it, 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 there are some, this being a kind of a sequel, it doesn't kind of quite gel very well, I think, with the first movie. As I've mentioned, they've kind of retconned uh, Carter as the kind of the returning character. But also, as I've mentioned, there's no mention of the people who organised the kind of the first um, expedition and things like that. They're kind of just not ever mentioned. We don't really hear anything about kind of like, police kind of searching the property and what would happen there and it, it's, just, it's just kind of swept all under the rug to a certain degree or I did mention it was a fleeting comment and I could have missed it. Um, there, there are also some continuity um, issues that again didn't make sense to me. In the first movie, spoiler for that movie, we see that there's actually a toy doll that seems to be possessed and kind of moves around and the actual footage of the first movie it, exists in this one so that that was something that people could watch and that that haunted doll moving around is in that movie you know it's in that the footage in regards to the real life you know people that the footage they would have seen in this but you would have assumed that the people involved in making this kind of like this follow-on uh kind of show would have watched it and then when they encounter the doll, was oh look it's a doll they well didn't you watch the original footage because you would have seen that that doll was moving and moving around but they just kind of ignore it and things like that so there are there are some kind of like issues here that i feel connecting it with the kind of the first movie they, they haven't kind of done a, a good job of kind of lining it up to a certain degree so it only feels like uh somewhat kind of connected to the first and it's just kind of like ah oh, don't worry about it probably people won't even remember that movie more just kind of like we'll just kind of forget about it um the effects wise there's certainly more of them um but it does kind of tread that grave encounters kind of digitally enhanced kind of like scary face a little bit too much at times uh, i would have liked to have seen maybe something else a little bit different uh, rather than the, the you know the kind of the, the distorted cgi faces that we seem to get a lot of the time they look okay but it kind of looks you know, you've kind of seen it before uh, maybe it would have been better to have something a little bit different perhaps or at least kind of like just change it up to a degree um, and the effects still aren't brilliant, uh, even, though, even though I think there's, they're more plentiful in this movie. And I think, you know, you can see that there's some budgetary improvements. It's hard to say whether I think this is a better film in some aspects, because at least I think the first movie, although that was kind of a very kind of a cookie cutter movie, the plot was fairly kind of like straightforward and wasn't convoluted, whilst this one is. Although I think there are certainly some technical advancements in, in this movie and it certainly feels like a, uh, a more put together film in some ways. The fact that it, it kind of derailed so spectacularly in the, kind of the third act for me um, really makes me think, is this a better film or isn't it? I will give this a 4 out of 10, which is slightly more than I gave the original film because I think the ambition here uh, just kind of puts it um, a little bit higher for me because at least they, I think they tried to kind of have a uh, a little bit more to it in regards to the story. I don't know if it was also that successful. 
um, to be honest, but I think the, the uh, at least the ambition for me kind of goes somewhere in having a little bit more of a, an interesting kind of story uh, rather than your standard we're trapped in a haunted uh, building for X amount of time. So it's a 4 out of 10 for me. Have you seen either of these kind of movies? Please do leave me a comment. I'll be look, I look forward to hearing your thoughts if you have seen them and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.